Hello students, this is your seventh video of lesson one. In this video, we are going to learn how many thousands make a lakh, how many tens make a lakh, how many lakhs make a million. First, first question, how many thousands make a lakh? So first write lakh. The real meaning, what, how can we find, you know, first write this lakh divided by thousand. Okay, first write lakh divided by thousand, you will get the answer. Lakh divided by thousand. This is the easiest way. Three zeros here also. Three so cut this three zero and three zero remaining hundred hundred thousands make a lakh. Okay, hundred thousands make a lakh. Next question: How many tens make a lakh? Right? Divided by one lakh divided by ten. 1 0 1 0 can cut the remaining 10,000 10,000 tens make a lakh and how many lakhs make a million divided by lakh how many zero 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 zeros here also you can cut 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 10 lakhs make a million answer will be 10 this is the easy method to find this type of questions if you are having any doubt so this is correct or not no problem just to multiply this hundred and thousand you will get answer okay how many tens make a lakh 10,000 tens make a lakh 10,000 multiplied by 10 lakh how many lakhs make a million 10 lakhs make a million 10 into lakhs is equal to 1 million this is the easy way to find this type of answers uh, next one is write the following numbers one less than thousand one less than thousand first you know thousand 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 is the four digit number right one two three four four digit number thousand this is four digit number not only four digit number this is the smallest to four digit number smallest to four digit number okay how can we get this smallest to four digit number greatest three digit number plus one is the smallest four digit number understood largest three digit number plus one will be the smallest four digit the largest three digit number plus one is the smallest four digit number okay so if you are subtracting one from here 1000 minus 1 is 999 999 is the smallest sorry largest three digit number so one less than one less than thousand is the small largest three digit number 999 so next one 10,000 1 less than 10,000 is 9,999 see 9 times 9 next 1 lakh minus 1 1 less than 1 lakh is equal to this one ok so 9 lakh 999 sorry uh, I mean Yes, nine lakh ninety-nine thousand and ninety-nine is the answer. Okay, so this is the way you have to find this. Uh, how can we get these numbers? See, first one, one less than thousand. One less than thousand. So one thousand. Minus one nine hundred and ninety nine. Very easy. Next one, one less than one million. Okay. See how many zeros are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the answer for this question. Okay. Understood. So for, uh, this is. Uh, page number 14 it is given next one is uh, d how many thousands are there in how 
how many thousands or there in 34,549 34,549 how many thousands are there in for this type of question you have to divide this number by thousand I have to divide by this number by thousand but uh, thousand for uh, uh, table thousand it is very easy one thousand is thousand two thousand is two thousand two sorry two thousand are two thousand three thousand are three thousand it is very easy but no need to divide simply you can read ones tens hundred thousand so put one line here 34,000s are there in this number okay one more question how many thousands are there in ones tens sorry ones tens hundred thousand 49,000s are there in this number one more question how many thousands are there in ones tens hundred thousand so this much thousands are there in this number okay this is easy way to find this next question uh, how many lakhs are there how many lakhs are there in this number once so this question you have to divide by lakhs then only you will get the answer but no need to go to this division method simply we can find once tens hundred thousand 10,000 lakhs so 5 lakhs are there in this number okay so this is the way uh, <clears throat> you have to find how many this 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 like that the next one is rounding numbers rounding numbers How to round the numbers okay how to round the numbers why we are rounding the numbers for example if you are traveling uh, by bus okay in that bus 35 or 40 uh, sorry 40 or 45 passengers are traveling with you if someone is asking how many passengers are there but you are not counting right we will not count how many passengers are traveling with it simply we can say maybe 50 okay. maybe 50 passengers traveled with us like that we can see so this is called rounding numbers but we didn't count anything simply we can say approximately 50 understood so like that we can round the numbers first uh, from your book rounding nearest 10 nearest 10 nearest 10 so rounding nearest to 10 the answer will be the multiple of answer will be multiple of 10 multiple of 10 means 10 20 30 40 50 like that okay not only this 100 110 120 130 140 like that rounding nearest to 10 one example i will give 24 around the round this 24 to the nearest 10 how to round so i as I told already rounding nearest to 10 means answer should be the multiple of 10 10 20 30 like that 20 24 is given so 20 will be here next multiple of 10 is 30 so answer will be 20 or 30 which one is the correct one we have to find what is the number 24 what is the middle of 20 and 30 25 okay 24 so 21 will be here 22 23 24 24 and 25 26 28 29 30 okay 24 our question is 24 so the, if your question is half okay sorry uh, half and more than half you can round the upper number largest number if the question is less than half you have to round the less number 20 so 20 is the answer understood if the number is half and more than half you have to round the upper number large number if it is less than half you have to round the previous number smallest number sometimes the question is 27 so 27 will be here 25 26 27 will be here 27 our question is 27 
27 is more than half. Okay, 27 is more than half. So 30 will be the answer. If the if our question is 25, 25 is question. Okay, so our condition condition is half and more than half. 25 is half. So 30 will be the answer. So if the if our question is half and more than half, you have to take the larger number. Our question is less than half, you have to take the previous multiple of this number. Okay. Next, nearest to 100. Nearest to 100. Nearest to 100 means answer will be multiple of 100. Answer will be multiple of 100. Okay, nearest to 100. One question. 359. This is our question. 359. What will be the answer for nearest 100? So answer will be multiple of 100. So 300 or 400. Answer will be 300 or 400. Okay. 359. What will be the middle? 300 and 400. What will be the middle? 350 will be the middle. Okay. Our question is 359. Maybe 359 is here. What is our question? 359. It is more than half. It is more than half. What is our condition? If it is half or more than half, you have to take the larger number for rounding this number. So 400 is the answer. Understood? 400 is the answer. The condition is if it is half or and more than half, you have to take the next number. If it is less than the half, you have to take the previous number. And see. Now the next type is this is a little bit difficult. Nearest to 10. Sorry. Uh, uh, first I explained the 24, right? 24. As I told, uh, our nearest to 10 is 20. Already we got this answer 20. Okay. What are the numbers rounded to nearest 10? 20. So from 20, sorry, I mean. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. So these are the numbers we can round nearest to 20. Understood? Understood. Nearest to 10, Julie. I am telling uh, 10. Okay, nearest to 10. So near for nearest to 10, 20, these are the numbers we can round. 15 to 24 we can round. 20. One more example. 40. What are the number we can round? So 35, 36, we can round 40, 37, 38, 39, okay, 40 leave it here also, 40 and 41, 42, 43 and 44, we can round nearest 40. If it is 45, if it is 45, this is not the nearest 40, it will be 50. Because why? Half and more than half, you have to round the next number. Okay. Um, uh, this is the way you have to find the uh, uh, rounding numbers. Our next topic is Roman system. Roman system. You know our normal number systems 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like that will go. For Romans, they found some English alphabets for writing some numbers. For 1, they used I. For 2, 2 times. Okay. For 3, 3 times I. For 4, 1 V and left side 1 I. Okay. 5, V, 6, 5 plus 1, 7, 5 plus 2, 8, 5 plus 3, 9. Okay. This is 10 minus 1, 10 and 11, 10 plus 1, 12, 10 plus 2, like that. This type of English alphabets they used for writing the 
number so how to get this type of numbers okay one for i for one two times i for two three times i for three why not four times so this is one condition we should not use i more than four three times three times we can use i okay then four times means five minus one five means v understood so five minus i so if it is minus you have to write left side if it is plus you have to write right side see so then 5 v 6 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 see plus we are adding plus so we have to write right side 7 5 plus 2 2 times i 5 plus 2 8 5 plus 3 9 okay leave 10 x x is 10 9 we don't have any number so 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 left side 1 i okay then 11 12 like that we have to write and for it is very easy if you are looking your book you will understand everything and only few i will explain for you exercise 1.10 19 first question is 19 write in roman numerals 19 is equal to 10 plus 9 what is 10 10 means x okay 9 this is i x is 9 x i x is the answer okay second 40 how to write 40 okay how to write 10 times sorry um this x you should not write more than three times okay till 30 you can use this x if it is 40 you should not use this so 40 means 50 minus 10 50 minus 10 what is the english uh, alphabet we can use for 50 l so l minus 10 minus 10 means you have to write left side xl xl is equal to 40 so this is the way you have to write roman numeral so this uh, just go through your book you will understand everything and some roman if i am giving any roman numerals can you write the english alphabet for example uh, x x x i v x x x three times x so 30 10 10 10 10 plus 10 plus 10 30 okay so 30 plus this is 4 4 is equal to 34 is the answer understood this is the way you have to write roman system so uh, these uh, seven videos we might have finished our first lesson i address, uh, i hope you understand everything if you have any doubt when we are contact when we are conducting our zoom interaction session we will ask that question i will rectify your doubts okay so thank you all